and welcome back to Let's Play Alundra 2, A New Legend Begins. When we last left off, I said I would go and get more gold and grind more darts. Well, you may notice that my gold is still the same since the last video. That's because I have a save file. Because I had to do all these sort of mini-games that are in the Kindra Forest. And yeah, I've done the Bomb River one. And here is a few clips on for getting all the prizes of within these blocks. All right, here's the first chain of bombs that I've set up. And the amount that I've used to make this chain is a total of 10. So we'll actually be able to get all three of these blocks, would you believe it? And a tip for how to get the perfect distance on the bombs is just essentially just stand on it and make sure Flint's on and when Flint's on it just pay close attention to the very tip of his heel and make sure that it's like of course you can see his heel where it is yeah just pick up the bomb and throw it and essentially that's the perfect distance to so that way they actually do explode sometimes it may not work because you may have positioned it wrong but yeah it's just all a matter of chance Anyways, let us get the prizes that are within these chests, and let her rip! Yeah, see? Got all three of those with that many bombs. Anyways, the first chest here contains nothing more than herbs. Big frickin' whoop. And the next chest over here... Contain some lorry nuts. Yeah, that's better, but yeah, I could have done. Yeah, it's just not as good. It's still better than the herbs, though. And the chest over here contains an elixir, which is actually useful for when, of course, if you're in a pinch. But then again, considering how I use herbs so many times, never really, it's never really a problem. And now I shall stop it here and I shall get it up to this block. All right, here's the second chain that I've set up. And also another tip is uh, when you're setting up the bombs, make sure you at least have the first bomb at least around up to this point because that's as far as the flame will reach. And with that, let it go. Woohoo! And there is the, let's see, what's that? The fourth chest for another elixir, but of course I can't hold anymore. Well, that's a 250 gold profit. And now that, uh, now that I've shown you that, I shall pause it and I shall make up a chain that goes up to this block. All right, I've set up the last chain of bombs, so that way they will be able to reach the last block, which is right behind Flint, and I thought I'd show it where, show where it is, just in case you didn't see it. And also something that, that I should say is that when placing the bombs, make sure not to have Flint's heel, like the very tip of it, not go past the very beginning of the fuse. Otherwise, you'll throw it a little too far and you'll end up wasting bombs. It's, yeah, I know, it's a little hard to gauge it, but if you can get it to work, it works. Anyways, let us explode them to a beautiful cascade. And with that, we can get the grand prize of this mini game, which is a big life crest for another 100 HP. And if you don't really care about the other prizes, you can just go straight for this one. And of course, you'll get the Lori Nuts along the way, which is right there. So that concludes all the prizes that you can get in this minigame. And also, if I talk to this guy, he'll have something to say. Have fun, but don't try this at home, or else you'll blow your fingers off. Yeah, that ain't nice. And now it's time to get to the next mini game, which I'll show you. And screw you, Saramatas. Because, yeah, the. 
Wait, I need to change out the elemental the elemental ring for Dryad. I need because yeah, we're gonna need it. Anyways, screw you, buddy, and thank you for the dart, but I don't need it. And pop goes the monkey. Ha! <laughs> Oh, I just love it. And yeah, I actually have noticed that since the very first time that I came to this forest with the buckler, I actually, yeah, the shield does actually reduce damage taken, but it's so, it's not very noticeable in the, it's not very noticeable. Anyways, here's why we need the Dryad Ring to open that up. All right. Now for this mini game, I shall go over the rules. I'll have this guy explain the rules, and I shall show clips for each one. Or I'll show the clip for this. Would you like to play Dog Attack per 100 gold per game? I'd like an explanation first. And you have to trick the doggies into landing on the switches without them, without letting them get, without letting them get to you. The dogs will jump when you jump, but they can't change directions when they're in the air. That's the key to success. Definite, yes, that is a good, make sure to keep note of that, because those dogs uh, trigger all the switches and the item will drop. If you reach it, it's yours. And yes, there are four levels to this mini game, or as I like to call them, my four levels of panic and I have and as soon as I get to it, I shall show you it. No, I don't want to play. And yes, I shall edit in the clip right here and enjoy. All right, let's get this started, shall we? Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, there's the first prize, which is a herb. And yeah, the first dog isn't that hard. Yeah, he runs pretty slow. And he's pretty easily duped. And grab the herb. Good job, you finished level one. And... Yeah, try level two next. It'll be a little harder. Ugh, and just give me a moment. Okay, let's try the second level. Furry Tonic, and there's a second dog. Ready, set, go! Okay, the next dog is a little bit faster. You know what, I'm gonna save that one. No, doggies, no doggies, no! Ah! Yeah, you need to keep her eye on the dogs, eye on the dogs! Because they are fast. Also, they can get caught on those buttons. Ugh. There we go. Doggy and grab the tonic! Aha! Uh -huh. Suck it! <sighs> you got some nice moves! Okay, here comes level 3. Good luck, and I'm gonna stop it and re start recording again soon. Okay, here we go, level 3. For some grapes of Iru. And that third dog. Set go! Nope! 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 <laughs> We're good dogs! Ah, ah, no! Bad puppy! Nope, good puppy! Ah. Ah. No, 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 no! No! Bad doggies! Bad doggies! Bad doggies! Bad doggies!
Final level, level four. Yeah, just give me a moment and I'll start recording again. Okay, let us do this. This is for a puzzle piece. And that fourth dog is the reason. If you thought the third dog was fast. Yeah, you should see all the other dogs. Ah! <laughs> ah! Oh my God. Dogs! Dogs! Ah! 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 I'm really panicking! Whoa! Whoa! Oh! But get ready once you finish that! Whoa! Jesus! Whoa! Ah! Now run for the puzzle! Oh, yeah, this guy pulls a fucking fast one. Yeah, sorry for swearing there. Pardon my French. Yeah, nice job. Congratulations. Come back again anytime. Yeah, this guy pulls a fast one and releases more dogs. What a cheap trick. Yeah, that was freaking my hand is shaking. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm honestly, I am such a spaz in that clip. <laughs> and also, I swear, this this guy feeds these poor dogs crack cocaine. Like, like seriously, some of those dogs are just, it's level three and four that are like, what the hell? They're so damn fast. Ugh. Anyways, need to remove the dryad ring and re-equip the siren ring. And also, the thing is, I did use save states in between them. It's just, I did edit it. And it's like one whole clip, but I had to edit it so that way I have a lot more. A lot more. It's not. The video's a little shorter because I don't want to go over too much. Because that's. It's. Yeah. And you know what? At the end of this Let's Play, if you really want. If you really want to ask. If you ask for it, I will show you the entirety of the clip unedited. Anyway, let's move these blocks, which I'm not even sure they are even. We haven't really encountered any more of these so far, have we? It's... what the heck? Anyways, the last minigame is up this way. Which is where this blue statue is, and get out of the way! And here we go! For the RC car game! Welcome to the Kindra RC car racetrack. Do you want to play? Tell me the rules! Let me explain the rules. You control an a RC car, an RC car, and whatever items you grab is yours. Ooch. Mm. I don't know, it just doesn't seem right. But if you flip the ca RC car, or if you go over the time limit, and then game over. Yeah, when you'll know that when the time limit is nearing the end, because it starts to rain. And it actually slows down your car, and I'm pr I've never had it, I never, I don't know what the time limit is. But essentially, I'm pretty sure that your car will stop. Now, okay, let, now let me explain the controls. Steer with the directional buttons or the left stick, parentheses. Press the X button to speed up, and press the circle button to jump. The faster you go, the higher you'll jump. If you go too fast and bump into something, you'll flip the car. Or if something crashes into you, and that's game over. Yes, there's a charge to play. Just let me know which track you want to drive around in. Each track is different, and the items you can get are different too. Yes, there are four different tracks. There is C, B, A, and S. I'll only be showing you A and S because C and B do not really have much in them. And I shall edit the first for first clip for the A track right here. Come on, little AC car. Or 
RC car, whatever. And you're just out of the way. Darn it! Come on, little car. Yes! Got it! Now let's see if I can get some other prizes, too, while I'm at it. Oh, I just missed. But I got the puzzle piece! Hooray! Oh, that took me quite a few tries. And yeah, that took me about eight attempts, my eighth one being my most successful one. And this next one shall be the... this next flip shall be the S one. And that took me about 63 attempts. So, right here... Yes! I got it! I finally got it! Woo! Want to go out again? No, thank you! And there we go! We got this item, which is the Wonder Orb. Place in pocket and select... Oh, and select. HP will heal when standing still. It essentially does the same thing when you when you're standing still to recover EP. And there we go. That is all the items for this game, or well, any of the ones that I really care for. And yeah, you may notice that there was a weird jump in the video. No, that's not a glitch. That's because I save stated mid jump. And if you don't you dare complain. Play it yourself and you'll see. Anyways, I'm afraid I'm going to have to end it here because I have to edit in all the other clips because that's a, there's a lot to do. Lots of, I have to edit in. Anyways, I shall see you. I've Yeah, that shall be it for me. I've been Northern Star Dragon. This has been Let's Play Alunter 2. And in the next video, I shall load up the game where I have done all the stuff that I needed to do.